We loved her in Adam's rib. We cheered her on, the African queen, and we were mesmerized with her in On Golden Pond. And throughout Katherine Hepburn's career, the public also took notice of her personal and professional fashion. Remember the uproar over all those trousers? Now you can relive many of these moments and fashions by visiting the exhibit Katherine Hepburn Dressed for Stage and Screen at the Kent State University Fashion Museum. The museum's director, Jean Druzado, is here with a peek inside this famous <laughs> closet. Thanks for joining us. Oh, glad to be here. Did uh, Kent State's Fashion Museum, uh, how did it get cast for this exhibit? It was a complicated thing, but the first director of the fashion school knew that Shannon Rogers, our benefactor, had actually done the ornament on Katharine Hepburn's costumes for her first starring Broadway role. And when the executors were looking for a place to put the collection, she suggested Kent State. Uh, now, does Kent State have a temporary exhibit or is this full time somehow? Well, right now it's a temporary exhibit. All of our exhibitions are temporary. So this exhibition will be at the University Museum until <laughs> September 4th. All right, but you actually own the fashion. Absolutely. We have, I suppose, about a thousand pieces at this point, but we've identified only about 116. So the ones in the exhibition are the ones that we know she wore. Give us just a little backstory, if you can, on a piece or two. Well, there are just <coughs> such wonderful things. There's a dress from Adam's rib, and you mentioned that. <coughs> um, and, right, I think and we're going to show that I if think we can here. We'll show that at some point. There it is. There it is. That's a 20 and a half inch waist, in case wow. anybody's interested. I don't think she just had Just about mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she had room for any internal organs. <laughs> but if you recall in the film, Spencer Tracy he had a little bit of business where he hooked her up in back. Right. And Walter Plunkett, who was the designer for that dress, gave him a little special drape with two snaps that she, he well, could snap. Let's go on to another one. Uh, a wedding dress? Oh my, we have a beautiful wedding dress uh, from the stage version of Philadelphia Story. The interesting thing about this dress, and it was designed by Valentina, a very famous designer, is that Many years later, 40 years later, when Katharine Hepburn did Glass Menagerie and her character was supposed to pull out an old dress, she pulled that dress out of her closet. Wow. I'd love to show more, but uh, we're running out of time. But you have all this at the uh, Kent uh, we do. Uh, Museum, and uh, we're going to give our, our viewers uh, uh, the information to get there. Thank uh, you so much. I'll look forward to seeing your viewers there. Great. Katherine Hepburn, dressed for stage and screen, will be on exhibit at the Kent State University Fashion Museum through September 4th. Don't miss it. After that, it'll be shared with other locations around the country for fans to enjoy. My thanks to Jean Drusado for giving us a personal fashion show today. To find out more, call the Kent State University Fashion Museum at 330-672-3450 or go to their website, www.kent.edu museum.